Vertical curves differ from horizontal curves. If you remember from the horizontal curve videos, um, horizontal curves are based off the geometric property of the circle. In other words, they can be part of the circle's uh, perimeter or an arc. And a vertical, I'm sorry, a horizontal curve is defined by two tangents. Let me draw the curve. It's defined by some center point, um, some radius that we called R, some interior angle, and the beginning and end of a curve. Vertical curves differ because they're based off of the properties of a parabolic function as opposed to horizontal curves who are based off of geometric properties of a circle. And the reason vertical curves are based off of parabolic functions are because uh, parabolic functions provide more of a smooth, a smoother transition between vertical, uh, vertical grades. In other words, they have uh, parabolic curves are suitable because they provide some type of a constant rate of change of slope for the curve. Okay, so normally you'll have some type of uh, entering curve. Or I'm sorry, entering tangent and an exiting tangent and then you have the parabolic vertical curve. All right. So in this video, I'm going to go over the different types of vertical curves. And in the following video, I'll go over um, some of the math and the equations we'll need to solve problems that are based off of vertical curves. So vertical curves, there's really two types of vertical curves, a crest curve and a sag curve. And each of those types, um, there's two separate types within those subcategories. Um, so let's start with uh, crest vertical curves. So crest. Crest vertical curves are also sometimes called sad face curves because uh, the curves look like a sad face. Um, or they're also called overts. Okay. And there's two types of crest vertical curves. Uh, the first one is called type 1 and the second one is called type 2. My goodness. Such clever names, huh? So type 1 curves have an entering tangent and an exiting tangent. And I'm going to draw the curves in. Let's do green. So if I drew this vertical curve here, uh, the property of a type 1 crest vertical curve is that the entering tangent, or grade 1, or the grade for the entering tangent, is positive. And the exiting tangent, or grade 2, is negative. All right? Um, type 2 curves are still called overts, and they still have a sad face. Um, type 2 crest curves, um, there's actually two types of type 2 test uh, crest curves. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Um, the first one is when you have this type of a grade or a tangent, and then you have this type of a tangent. Okay, let me draw, let me draw this curve out. And let me also draw uh, the second one, second type 2 curve. And you can see here that for the first type 1, I'm sorry, first type 2 crest curve is when the first grade or the entering grade is positive and the second grade is also positive. Hmm, interesting. Both grades are positive, right? But in this case, grade 1 has a higher grade than grade 2. In other words, grade 1 is steeper than grade 2, even though both of them are positive. Um, so this definition, if you follow these parameters, both, are, both grades are positive, and grade 1 is steeper than grade 2, you have a type 2 crest vertical curve. The second type of type 2 uh, crest vertical curve is when your entering tangent, grade 1, is negative and your exiting tangent grade 2 is also ne negative but in this case 
grade two has the higher is uh, higher steep than grade one. All right. So for crest curves, type one, grade one, the entering tangent is positive. The exiting tangent is negative. For type two vertical crest curves, um, there's actually two types. The first one is when grade one is positive, grade two is positive, um, but grade one has a higher steep than grade two. And then the second type is when they're both negative, um, but grade two has the higher steep than, than uh, grade one, right? So those are crest curves, crest vertical curves. Uh, the second type of vertical curves are called sag curves. Um, and sag curves are also called happy face curves because they form a happy face. Um, and they're also called inverts, okay? And just like the crest vertical curves, there's two types of sag vertical curves. Type 3 and type 4. Okay, so for type 3 sag vertical curves, this is when you have an entering grade that's negative and an exiting grade that's positive. So if I drew the curve, the curve would look something like this, right? Grade 1 would be negative and grade 2 would be positive, right? And for type 4 sag vertical curves, again, just like type 2, um, crest vertical curves, there's two types of type 4 sag vertical curves. The first one looks something like this. And the second one uh, looks something like, like this. And let me draw both curves out first and then we'll go over their properties. Right, so for type 4 sag vertical curves, uh, the first one is when the entering grade, or grade 1, is negative, and the second one, grade 2, is also negative. So grade 1 and grade 2 are both negative. Okay, but in this case, uh, grade 1 is uh, steeped higher than grade 2, right? And for the second one, grade 1 is positive, grade 2 is positive, right? They're both positive, but in this case, grade 1 has a lesser steep than grade 2, right? So let's recap uh, very quickly. Uh, for vertical curves, there's two types of vertical curves, crests, or sometimes called overts, and sag vertical curves, which are sometimes called uh, inverts. And each crest and sag vertical curve um, has two types. Uh, so in most of these videos uh, that you're going to see on this channel, um, we're just going to deal with type 1 and type 3 vertical curves. Um, you'll run into type 2 and type 4, but if you know how to work with type 1 and type 3 vertical curves, you can certainly solve um, any problems or design issues with uh, using any of these other four curves, right? So type 1 and type 3. Type 1 crest vertical curves is when positive grade turns into a negative grade and type 3 sag vertical curves is when you have a negative grade uh, entering grade and a positive exiting grade. All right. so in the next video we'll go over uh, the geometric properties of a vertical curves um, and then we'll go from there.